Do you see the certainty in these words? All that the Father giveth me shall come to me. It's absolute. It's not a mere possibility. It's not a mere probability. No, don't forget, we're looking from the divine perspective. As I view things, I see possibility. I see probability. But not from God's vantage point. From God's perspective, all that the Father gives me, Jesus says, shall come to me. You see, Christ's success does not depend upon the decision of faithless sinners. Did you hear that? Christ's success does not... Do you think for a moment that Jesus would have done what He did? He came down. He, we, we can't even really fathom what that means for Jesus to come down. I mean, that's enormous. It's huge. It's, it's beyond our ability to fully comprehend what that means that the one who is eternal, the one who made us, the one who is responsible for us and all that is, and the eternal infinite one actually came into the confines of time. How can that be without Totally evaporating all that is. How, how can infinity fit into time? But that blows our minds to even try to think of that. There's not a mathematical equation that, at least that I know of, that makes that work. He didn't do that. Just with probability in mind or possibility in mind. He did that with certainty in mind. He didn't do that depending upon you to do something. He did that because He would choose to do something in you. You see, what Jesus is saying here is not what a lot of folks say. He is not saying that sinners are given to Him because they come to Him. Is that what you read? All that the Father giveth me shall come to me. It's not all that come to me shall be given to Him. If you have come to Christ, or if you will come to Christ, it's because of the Father's initiative. He first loved you. Is that what you read in Scripture? First John We love Him because He first loved us. 